Hello and welcome to a new episode of Nordic Playground. Today we are going to go in the woods for a little hike with the doggy and with the girlfriend. Uh, we were thinking of going geocaching, uh, but for some reason the internet doesn't work, so we, we had to make a different plan. Oh, that's a massive moose track. Is that it? I think so. And here's another one. There's the first one. It has been a long time since I last posted something and that's because the winter has been really bad over here. Not bad like much snow because that's good according to me, but it has been a snow free winter and I had these plans of going with the snowmobile mobile and doing a, maybe some kind of ad adventure with that and ice fishing and everything, but we haven't been able to do some winter things now because of the winter or it hasn't maybe even been like winter it's been more like a long long autumn yeah <clears throat> but now we are going to stop making some videos again hopefully and I will post try to post more frequently because it has been like a really long time since I posted last last video so It seems like there are really wet places over here, so we aren't going to go here, but maybe to that side. It is more friendly for our shoes, because we have only these. Oh shoot! Hopefully we can make it out of this situation. Dry feet, but probably not. <laughs> okay, we have to make a crossing. Over the water. And hopefully he will make it, because he has fallen down many times before and he makes it and Anna and I made it too this is our favorite trail to walk with the dog we walk it many times a week because it's really near, near, near to our house and the dog can run free so we don't have to have a leash on him so that's really easy and also it's good for the dog's hips to not be walking on the road all the time and it's also really nice to be able to take a walk in nature and refuel oh crap i've got a hole in my shoe and i'm starting to feel the water coming through this, the shoe what did you find here we go <laughs> no comments please
it's really strange that the, the internet didn't work on our cell phones when we tried to geocache and it was really disappointing because we haven't been geocaching for like many years and that's something we used to do really often before so I got a little bit disappointed on that but I have to try it again some other time that's really <laughs> We also want to climb the tower. It's a tower for hunting, hunting moose in the autumn. <laughs> it was a miss. Where did it go? I'm not sure I'm able to cross this one. Maybe. So step on these small bushes. Here's a little water. Made it. Phew. So Anna, what do you think about this COVID situation? But, but you're able to walk in the forest a lot more. I did that already before. Exactly, mm. before it was cool. Here go. So now we're leaving the power lines and walking a little bit into the woods. Ay. <laughs> Ooh. Strange. First I thought it was an anthill, but then I saw it was just the, the parts from the tree. <laughs> okay, so let's go into this woods a little bit deeper because we spotted a really nice place. I'll show you. I don't know how well it shows up in the camera, but you get a really cozy feeling here. With the leaves on the ground and the trees being quite tight squeezed together. Oh, well, somebody's in a rush. Yeah, a truck for the animals. They are walking here up and down year after year and then it becomes like we call them highways this is not really a highway yet uh, it's like maybe a smaller one but sometimes when you walk in the woods you can clearly see that this is a moose highway or animal highway trail so we call them moose highways because they are so incredible it's like they almost were man-made, even if it's animals that have walked them for a very long period of time. But here you can see it really, really, really clearly too. If Anna moves away a little bit. 
Oh no, kind of flipped. Yeah, so here you can really clearly see that this is a path and it's not man-made, this is animal-made. At least we think so. Let's jump over this. Oh. <laughs> Made it. Here are some branches also that are almost cut off probably by a bigger animal. But this cannot be a moose highway. I mean, if you look at this, the branches are up here and this is like what, 120, 120 meters or something. So if a moose walked by, it would probably be much more disturbed. So it could be that it's, it's some doe or deer or something that has walked this path many times. Can't really see any tracks either. It's much easier when it's a little bit of snow on the ground because then you can clearly see if, what kind of animals that has walked up and down this path. Here is something maybe, but it's really hard to make out what kind of animal it is. Oh, very nice place. Ooh, a tree has fallen down. <laughs> Swim. Yeah, of course. This could probably be tracks from a moose. I mean, a little moose at least. It's as big as my hand. That's not a deer at least. But it was also really hard to make out the outlines of the footprints. So. But, I mean, a good guess is that it is a moose because not that many animals have such a big footprint. Although, sometimes, at least in the snow, the footprint can look a lot bigger than it actually is because of the sun has melted away the lines, outlines of the print. So, a little tiny deer mark can be as big as a elk or a moose even. You can get fooled by that. But the biggest possibility is that it is a moose that has walked here. Because they are plentiful at least here. Shoot, where did Hugo go? Could we go Ah can go this way. This path we discovered quite recently, almost by accident. We were like exploring a little bit and then we found this and this has almost become our new favorite path to walk when we are walking the dog. Here's another tree that has fallen over. Quite big one. Probably when they cut down all the trees around it. And this saw that we had really strong winds. So probably it was blow, blown uh, to the ground then. Look at that root system. It's even got a rock pinned between the roots. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yeah, these are starting to sprout. Everything is coming back to life again and that's really nice to see because it feels like the autumn has been forever because of the little amount of snow we had this winter. So it wasn't like four seasons like it used to be. It was only summer, that was quite cold actually, and dry. And then we had autumn, it was really not dry, very much rain. 
and some snow. I can't say it has been a completely snow free winter because it hasn't. It, we have had maybe a few centimeters of snow, but overall it has been really little snow. And the ice, we have had ice on the lakes here, but the thickness has been like, I mean, the thickest it has been is like 15 centimeters or so. And usually you can go down or over a meter in thickness. We have, you can ride your car on the lakes and it's no problem. But this winter, I don't think I have seen a single car on the ice because of the hazardous ice. Here we have it, the droppings. Well, this is also some kind of footmark. But as earlier, it's very hard to see in the moss what kind of animal it is. <laughs> okay, where's Hugo now? I hear some dogs barking. Hugo! We have put the GPS on Hugo's leash or collar, but we haven't any batteries, it's not charged, so we can't like find him if we lose him. We haven't been using it so much lately because he's really good at sticking with us. But it feels good to have this GPS around his neck, so if things go south and you can't find him, then you can always look at his position in your mobile phone and I don't know, as I said earlier, we were go we were going to Geocache and the internet wasn't working so I don't know if the GPS is working or... Check out that one. Oh, a tick. Is it a new one? Two. I have to take care of that when we come home. Are they two? He has had a lot of ticks this year already, uh, and we have met, we have put him on meds that will like kill the ticks when they try to go through the skin. But still, they are biting him, and he had a lot of them, at least like 20 already this year. Uh, usually, they come much more later almost in the beginning of the summer but they have been really early this year so it's a little bit scary I mean if he has had this many already how much will he get in the summer it could be that the winter has been so mild that they ticks have been able to like come out of hibernation or what they do much earlier this year and hopefully there aren't that many then later in this summer and until ooh, they have already started to work I don't know if you can see them I'm really fascinated by the ants when I was little I could like sit for a long period of time just watching them and this is why we like this forest so much because it's changing so many times before you're back to the main track or the power lines I mean here we have a lot of spruce and moss on the ground it's really like fairy tale like almost and here are <laughs> And here is some more proof of the autumn, that has been a really windy one. Many trees are, has fallen over this autumn. This is actually also moss. 
and they say that this is a really good sign of the air quality. This moss doesn't grow where the air quality is poor, so you have to be proud of that. Are you going to climb also? <laughs> you think you're having a candy? <laughs> yeah, I mean for a Hugo snack I would do anything, right? <laughs> what is she doing? Hugo is thinking. <laughs> Let's start to head back. Oh. Do we really have to? <laughs> the dog says. Ooh, these are really nice trucks. Hope they pick up on the camera. Because those were almost as clear as they can get here in this kind of environment. I mean, if there's mud or something, they can be clearer, of course. But this is like really clear foot tracks. <laughs> Dog is running wild. <laughs> so, how are you guys coping with the COVID-19 wires. We at least are, I wouldn't say prepping, but a little bit prepping, but also getting ourselves a new uh, hobby. And that's growing food, vegetables and like tomatoes, that kind of things. And we actually yesterday ordered a greenhouse so we'll be able to at least partially feed ourselves in the summer. I don't think it will come to that, that the food will run out or anything. But, I mean, it's good to have a, something to spend your time on. And, and it's a good hobby to have, I think, because you're actually doing some productive and you can save some money on it. I mean, if you invest in it, it can pay off later on. So, that's what we have going right now, at least. And hopefully we will get a really nice harvest this summer of tomatoes and chili, corn, and I have uh, peppers, different kinds, and squash like aubergine uh, and those kind of things that will grow here hopefully and with the greenhouse there we'll probably be able to produce a fair amount of fruits or vegetables So this is clearly a man-made path through the forest, but the moose highways that I talked about earlier, they are almost as clear as this one, but here you can see that the trees has been cut. And now we have a dog on adventures exploring by his own. Give him a candy. Hugo, come, come on. Hugo, come. Here. Piece of candy. Good dog. Good.
and soon we are out to the power lines again and this little hike will be over we were just discussing about how long this would be and we were thinking like four kilometers maybe because we have our car so we haven't walked all the way so about four kilometers it's a good guess now we come out to the power lines again so now it's just the same road back again and I have fairly dry feet still but I mean the worst part isn't over yet so could still happen an accident and the sun comes out also oh that's sweet Hey Hugo, keep the COVID distance. And this is the road back to our car. I don't know if you can see it right over there. So we are almost done with this adventure. But I think I will make a lot of these kinds of videos in the future. <laughs> Chewing gum. Just showing you guys how our day-to-day -day life is. Because this is a walk that we make many times a week. So maybe I could do a little bit of more of that instead. Doesn't that sound good, Anna? Yeah. Here's a really clear sign of the spring in the air. That the spring is in the air. Focus. And that's really good. So now guys, we are really close to the car. And I think we are going to end this video here. And I hope you liked it. And if you do, leave a thumbs up and like this video. Subscribe also, that's a really important thing. I would want lots of subscribers. So subscribe to my channel. And then you can see more videos in the future. Thank you. Yeah, leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Ah.